So guys, I'm in this trade now, and yeah, it's running a minus a little bit of profit. So this is what it is, and this is on the live account. This is the first, this is the first trade on the live account. So let's go to let's go to the 100k account. I'm also on the trade here. Okay, let it load a little bit. While it's loading, let us go back to to here. So this is the trade there. I'm looking for a continuation in buy. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I hope it's going to be a good setup. But yeah, let's see how it goes. So for the for the life account right now, for the life funded account, I'm risking half percent on the go, and that is what I'm going to be managing till I get till I get to up till I get up like one or two percent profit, then I withdraw. So that's what it's going to be. So let's see how it goes. I'm definitely going to update you. I'm going to update you. So let me show you the forex funder account. So with this, the forex funder account, look at what it looks like. I'm in the drawdown right now. So I've reduced the risk to about half percent per trade. So because I'm in drawdown, as you can see, look at the equity and look at the account balance. So because I'm in drawdown, I have reduced the risk to half, you understand, to like um, $500 or half percent. But if I'm in profit again, I'm going to increase the risk to 1%. I'll update you guys on how the trade plays out. Let's go. Hey okay guys, um, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. So that trade yesterday, hit my stop loss guys and went directly in profit so let me show you that trade now on the chart so this is the thing guys. Like, this was the trade this was the trade of yesterday so it stopped me out here this was where my stop loss was then it went directly in profit and this was a hundred pip trade it was a fifth it was um, a half risk of 25 pips the full pip the full risk was 50 pips it was 100 pips trade it went directly to my take profit then from there it came down it was crazy like it was really annoying though but all good you know the vibe so i lost on this one i lost about um so let's go to the trades let's go to um closed positions so i lost about 24 dollars and this was the first trade first trade on the life on the um life account because that's what it is so i lost about 25 dollars then let's go for this one uh this thing this thing is not loading I'll give it a minute. A minute is all I ask for. So okay, okay, closed position. I lost about five hundred and something here again. So putting my account balance here, putting my account balance at um, ninety-eight thousand. I'm a little bit. I'm down more than one percent. So with go with um, the life account, I'm down. I'm um, down half percent. So let's see how it goes. If, Rick's man, if my risk is managed, I know all will be fine. I'm not even shaking. So I told you I added one more pair to my trading. I added one more pair to my trading. So let me show you that. Let me show you that pair now. So I've added USD card to my um, trading. I've added USD card to my trading. So this is the order I have on this USD card. I have a sell limit from here. And what's funny is that this trade is... <laughs> this pair is very, very funny. This is a 5 pip stop loss for a 20 pip gain. So... <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Small stop loss, but it's not just small. The pair does not really move that much. It's not like I'm the one that made it small. The pair does not really move that much. The highest stop loss I've used is 10 pips, and it used to be very big. It doesn't really move that much. So I'm looking for the market to tap here and drop. And I've entered this order, this order everywhere. This is this is the pending order. So this is the pending order here. Sorry, okay. The pending order here. Yeah, sell limit. Let's see how it goes. I'm definitely going to leave in the sell board. It is so close to my stop. Let's hope it don't. I'm seeing it rejecting. Let's see. I take half stop. You all know. I'm seeing it rejecting. Let's hope it plays out. If it plays out, it's going to be a good trade because, um, of course, who does not deserve a win? <laughs> but let's see how it goes. I've taken this trade everywhere, everywhere possible. Everywhere possible. As you can see here, this is the trade running here. This is what it looks like. And this is my life account. My 5K funded account. So, um, let's go to the 100K okay i like the pressure you just used on me i like the pressure you just used on me so let's see i hope he drops i hope he drops it's only fair that i have one good win since i lost the trade yesterday i understand so let's see how it goes so this trade stopped me out again stopped me out again 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 bro too much losses in a row crazy ass thing so close trade so this is the trade here this is the trade here this one on top so this is what my account balance looks like right now i'm down one percent approximately at the moment so let's see let's see guys let's see i'm still managing my risks like we've always been doing 
but I closed the half stop loss. Thank God I did not close the full. If I had closed the full, I would have taken two, I would have taken about $50 risk. That is why I go for half stop loss because the win rate of the strategy is low. There's no need for a high for um, the full stop when I'm still going to um, lose the trade. So I just do it like that. It's, a, it's among the plan. Last week, I, I think uh, I saw three trades. One did not trigger my order, but two triggered my order and I made sense from it. You understand? This week we're back, two losses in a row. Roller coaster, that's what I'm going to call it. But we're all good. We are in trading, we have strong minds. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll come again tomorrow, we'll do our thing again. You know the vibe, guys. So, uh, let's see how it goes. So, guys, I just bought gold around here. I mean, this gold trade now. So, let me show you all here. So, I'm risking about. um. This match trade always takes time to load. Trying to slow my video every fucking chance it gets. Let's go to the 100k account. So for the 100k account, this is what this is the risks I have in place. I'm risking about 30 pips on this trade. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I'm hoping for gold to buy. If it does buy, then um, we're gonna close some profit. But if it don't, then you know the vibe. So this is what it looks like here. This is the profit right now. Let me go to um, this is the equity and this is also the account balance. So I've still not figured out the way to document this thing or get a screenshot something like that because you know you understand i'm just trying to get around this platform at the same time i'm trying i'm doing so many things so this is it on the live account this is what it looks like let's see how it plays you understand we in for it no okay. care so today is a very cold day as you can see i'm not sweating it's been really 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 hot this right. so you um, i'm just here watching the street you get what i mean so Let's go for a day like this. So I hope for this one to be a win. If it's not a win, calculator rigs, we lose something. As you can see, I got a new haircut and I'm looking slick. If you didn't observe yesterday, then this is my chance to tell you that I'm looking slick. Sure it's what it is, my nigga. So <laughs> I'll update you how this trade plays out. What's good guys and how is y'all doing today? So So today is very dull day, just like how yesterday was. I'm talking them weather wise so guys yesterday was a very tough day for me that trade i took the trade hit my stop loss but still still went in my direction and at very close to my tp something like that trade would have been a break-even trade there was but i was very that trade to be honestly to be honestly frank that trade made me very angry i have not really been so angry for a trade in a long ass while in a long while i've not been that angry for a trade and that trade put me back in that mood it just made me remember those days <laughs> i don't know how like it made me it made me it made me really see how far i've gone with managing my emotions and becoming a very strong trader mentally it made me really see how far i've gone and, and this is what really made me angry with that trade i didn't follow my strategy i didn't follow my strategy i didn't follow my strategy it was crazy like i didn't follow my strategy I didn't follow my strategy so it got me really angry because <laughs> now my strategy lately my trend following strategy by the way because at the moment i trade with two different entry models i want to call it entry models not really strategy or playbooks one is a support and resistance one and the second one is the trend following one why because if the market is not trending i want to be cashing the support and the resistance of the market and also if the market is trending, I want to use the trend following strategy to jump into a, into a trend and, and jump out. But the trend following strategy lately is having a very it's not really having high win rate. During the time when this when this profit was not around, like when the profit were on a break trying to do their migration thing, I had eight losses in a row for real. I had eight losses in a row. Back to back. <laughs> so this is the thing. Eight losses in a row, but four out of those eight losses, the market will stop me out and go in my direction. So it's so I was right in the direction, but I was wrong in the entry. So the market will always stop me out and go in my direction, and it was so annoying because I felt really bad. I felt really bad. Like imagine catching a move, being right in the direction, stopping you and going in the direction. And if the market was like, if I was able to hit those four take profit put me up in a very good number you know what i mean like losses are part of the game nobody cares i don't care about the four i lost the four i win is like the very important thing put me up in the game to be a very profitable the eight, those eight trades will be i'll cover up the losses and keep profit 
so it was really annoying it's really annoying because even this monday this um sorry this tuesday the trade i took on tuesday hit my stop loss and went in my direction the trade i took yesterday hit my stop loss and went in my direction so it's very very, very annoying like <laughs> it's really crazy but that's why today i'm not trading today is also nfp and i just made my i just made up my mind that i was not going to take any setup because uh I've, like i just have not to trade because <laughs> because like carrying this kind of mentality right now to go to the market is going to cost me more pain so i avoid the market totally and i'm going to come back next week and we'll do our thing again so for the week i'm down about about one and a half percent because i lost three trades in a row down about one and a half percent so we'll come back next week guys and we'll do our thing again we hope for next week to be a profitable week bless you guys i will catch you guys next week challenge keep going don't worry see losses are part of the game losses are part of the game they're part of the game i understand that it is painful because why not we're humans we've got emotions we've got ego too so apart from your emotion apart from it paining you you've got ego like you want to be a trader that know how to cash for any trade you get me so all these things but you when you're in trading space you build your mind to an extent you understand that losses are part of the game it's painful it's not like it's not painful there's nobody it will take you like 20 years for losses not to affect you and that will be depending on the account size you're trading <laughs> it's like bro it's i don't know i don't know but bless you guys and thanks for tuning in this week subscribe and like this video if it added any value to your life i'll catch you guys next week we'll do our thing again you know how we do it peace so guys y'all remember that um, usd card trade the order i opened the order i opened so i closed i remember vividly that i closed that order but guys, I just came to my chat now because I've not opened this thing. It's about um, 7 o'clock in the evening right now. I just came to my chat and opened my trading account and saw that this order did not close. I saw that this order did not close. It still stayed and today it got triggered and it was a loss. So if we come here now to my 100k account, this is my 100k account. You're going to see that. Look at the balance. This was the last balance. You're going to see that it closed here. It closed here. It closed here and yeah today the last 24 hours it, 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 it was closed so if i closed it here even if i don't say okay maybe i forgot if i closed it here then that's to say i closed it on these 5k accounts too but it just so happened and now i am down and now i am down about for the last seven days i am down about more than one percent very very annoying thing this is very annoying it's very annoying because this is not my fault here this is not my fault i tell you for the truth I remember closing this thing without a shred of a doubt. But it's what it is, guys. Um, this is just one percent, though. This sorry, this is just two percent. With one trade, I can get this back. So I'm not really bothered, but it's just annoying that it just happened. You get what I mean? So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next week we'll come back and do our thing. Next week we'll come back and do our thing. Peace.